In this video, we'll use Autodesk Recap Photo to make a capture of this chef statue. Notice that the statue is placed on gaudy paper, that is, brightly colored paper that contrasts with it. This is important because when you take your pictures, you want plenty of contrast between the item you're trying to capture and the background. When you capture a subject, you need to walk all around it at different levels. I'm showing two different levels here, but ideally you will take pictures at three different levels, which is what I'm doing here. And I'm walking around it, taking pictures at different angles and different levels. You want to move about 30 degrees around your subject, and your lighting must be consistent. The background must be consistent. You don't want any glare. And when you're done, you'll want to evaluate all your pictures for quality. Throw out fuzzy ones, overexposed or underexposed ones, the lighting should be consistent in all of them. Then open Recap Photo. Click on Object. And then Browse to where all your photos are. Select them all. And then load them. You can delete any of them by clicking the X. Then click Create. Name the project. And submit. And you can watch the progress here. So eventually the file will process. In this case it took overnight and you'll be able to download it by clicking on that button. You can also delete it if you want. You'll get an email notice too telling you that the file is ready to be downloaded, but the only place you can download it from is from within the Recap Photo software. So once you download it, it will download as an RCM file. And it looks great. We've got all of the chef from all angles. And it's just a matter now of cutting out the background. I want to walk you around the interface here so that you can see all the options because there's some work you might want to do before exporting it as an STL and importing it into Fusion. Here, you can choose how to see the model, for example, textured with wireframe. Look how dense that mesh is. And you have these options for the model. You can set a scale in units. You can edit it. So Recap has some nice editing features. You can re-triangulate and decimate it, and we're going to do that in just a bit. You can analyze it. And then you can export it as an image, a video, or multiple file formats. So what I'm going to do first, however, is decimate this because if I don't, I'll be able to import it into Fusion, but it will be difficult to work with. So. I'll click on Decimate Mesh, and it has over 4 million faces. So let's 
cut that down to 2 million and decimate all. And look at that. It's still pretty dense, but not as dense as it was. So at this point, I will export it as an STL. Just click on that and then click on export. Once you do that, it will import pretty easily into Fusion. The design history is turned off so you can access the mesh workspace. And here you can reduce the mesh size even more if you need to. And then reduce it a bit and click OK. Oh, that's a lot better. We'll be able to work a lot easier with this. So I can select with a paintbrush, paint selection, and if I click on mesh palette, I can choose the brush size. And then brush over everything and hit the delete key. And that takes care of it. I can also click on Modify, Plane Cut, select the mesh body, select the plane. I clicked on an origin plane, move it where I want, I can click Uniform Fill or Minimal Fill, I'll click Uniform. And that got rid of a bunch of stuff. Let's try that again. Modify, Plane Cut, Mesh Body, Plane. I'm going to click on that plane this time. And I'm going to turn it around. so that I don't cut the chef out, and then click OK again. So I can continue deleting these whichever way works best, and the goal is I just want to be left with the chef, which I can then bring into the solid workspace and convert to solid.